Hello everyone, this is uh, Shadi Reis from Denver, Colorado at CBI 2022. With me, Dr. Uh, Farshad Farzande, he's uh, associate professor at Wayne Case Western and he's interventional cardiologist at University Hospitals. Farshad, always nice to see you. Thank you so much, Shadi. I appreciate the invitation and sure. the opportunity and it's always nice to see people after two, it's three years like in that. person, finally. Yes. Um, you know, so I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, so you've been since the beginning with the CVI since we started, I think, me and you were fellows, I remember, when we yep. came here, and now we are a faculty involved as well. So why CVI? Why, why differentiate this conference compared to others? I mean, excellent question. And uh, being honest with you, I think uh, one of the major, I mean, there are multiple differences between this conference and uh, other conferences in our field. One of them that is very interesting to me and keeps me coming every year is that the size of the conference is very reasonable. So it is not too big like, you know, ACC that, there are so many things going on. You can get lost which session to go, which not right. to go. This one is a little bit more, you know, uh, focus on the interest that you have. You can pick a track, yes. go there and just, you know, learn from that. And it's very actually interesting. Like this morning, there was a bunch of talks on physiology and imaging yes. for coronary interventions. And I can have a hard time remembering uh, how many times I've seen all those experts in the same room in any conference, cardiology right. conference. So. Right. You know, people that uh, have been doing, uh, you know, trials in the field, and most of them, they were there, lots of good questions, discussions. And again, one thing about CVI is the audience, they have the opportunity to ask questions and be engaged, uh, which is actually, I guess, an uh, awesome opportunity. Yeah. Um, the other aspect is also the cath lab team. You know, we are as good as our team is. So uh, it's great that the CVI is supporting our cath lab nurses, the techs to come over. I heard a lot of positive feedbacks from them, from the previous experiences before the pandemic that they came over. And also this year, not, now we are fortunately back into uh, in-person setting. Uh, they love it, you know, they're um, you know, enjoying the conference and there's always learning for anybody at any level. Uh, so they are picking up stuff and then they feel that really we are a team uh, in both learning aspect of the things and then when we go and do the practice. So. I think there are really important uh, benefits of coming to CVI and uh, you know they pick nice places centrally located Denver I heard next year is going to be in Austin so I'm excited about that already uh, so again meeting people networking in person yeah. I think these are great opportunities and so. I feel like uh, one of the big advantage for me at least when we meet in person I get to know you more um, I think we went to ACCHA other conferences too but we never met but here we met with you, we made uh, our network closer, uh, you built your kind of people who have this, share the same interests on the podium and other platform. So absolutely, it's a, a great platform. Yeah. And one of the things, uh, the fellows also take advantage of. Exactly. They come here and present and give them more exposure and visibility. Yeah, I think CVI is really focusing to have a good, uh, diverse range of faculties, you know, from fellows, as you said, early career, mid-career, uh, and then late, you know, career people are more expert to have really a mix as compared to some other meetings that they may just choose the more expert people to come and talk. I think CVI is opening up the floor to younger individuals, right. uh, which is again a great opportunity. Well, thank you, Farshad, for always nice to see you, number one, and two is thanks for the input and feedback. Uh, please, uh, this, there's a call every year for fellows as well as faculty to apply for travel grant and then to submit your cases and research to this meeting and with the opportunity for the fellows in the future to be faculty when they become finalists. Exactly, uh, and yeah. uh, again, another aspect is for fellows, as you mentioned, is for job finding. Actually, this morning yes. I was just talking with one of the fellows and then uh, I you know, met another attending from another institute and uh, we introduced them to each other and by the end they were exchanging phone numbers to be in touch for future job Maybe positions. A job so as well, yeah. again, for anybody, fellow, uh, looking for a right. job, I think this is a great networking place. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time and your input. Of course. Yeah, please watch these videos and others on CVI YouTube channel. This is Shad Reis from Denver, Colorado. Thank you so right. much. Thank you so much, Shad. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome.